lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys now this is a very simple very simplistic spell that anyone can do it doesn't matter um, if you are intermediate if you're a beginner or if you are an expert in the practice um, this is basically proof I don't want to use the 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 degrading word um, but basically what this is is going to give you amazing results now what is this spell for if you're dealing with a partner a husband a wife someone that is extremely stingy with their money someone that is not very forthcoming with their finances um, and this could be in many different aspects uh, so what I mean by this is this can be um, this could be a person that you're casually dating. This could be a person that you're married to. This could be a person that you are officially with. Uh, or this could be a, you know, uh, fuck buddy situation. Doesn't matter. Um, and what this is, is basically to sweeten them up so that they can be loose with their wallet. So that they could be more supportive <laughs> if you catch my drift. So like I said, it doesn't matter the status that you uh, are currently with them. It, it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, it could be something casual. It could be something official. Or it could be your husband. It could be your wife um, that are, you know, extremely, like I said, extremely stingy. They're not very helpful. Um, or they constantly expect you to be the one to pick up the tab. Whatever the situation is, uh, this is specifically to have them. Um, be loose with their wallet, basically. This is for a client, um, but this is just the beginning steps. I will be uploading another video that is specifically to draw in a uh, specific partner that is financially secure um, so that they can be very open to wanting to take care of you and wanting to provide or wanting to help you out. Um, but like I said, this particular spell that I'm doing right now is going to be um, basically to have them um, be more helpful with you. Uh, now, I know that in a lot of circumstances or a lot of situations, um, you know, you could be married to the person, you could be living with them, and they just get to a point of complacency or, uh, you know, to a point of being comfortable um, and expecting you to be the provider, even if you're a female. Um, so this is going to help them want to be the provider, want to be, um, like I said, you know, basically wanting to assist you in every way possible. Um, now what you're going to need, uh, let's get into the ingredients. You're going to need a jar. You're going to need three prunes, preferably dry prunes, as you guys can see here. You're going to need Jezebel root if you are a female, John the Conqueror uh, root if you are a male, okay? It doesn't matter your sexuality. Um, if you are a male, you're going to be using John the Conqueror root. If you are a female, you're going to be using a Jezebel root, and it's only one that you need. Um, and honey, that is basically what you need. That is all you need. Um, oh, and a coin, and this coin uh, must be given to you by them. So in this scenario, in this situation, you're going to need to ask them for a coin. If you are from the U.S., this is a quarter. Um, you can make up any type of, you know, any type of um, excuse of why you would need the quarter. Um, we've already been working this quarter. That's why you can see wax in it but this is the coin we're going to be using. If you are outside the country and there is no coins um, in your country, then you would use a bill or a dollar bill, whatever it is that you would use in, in whatever type of money is used in your, uh, in your country. Preferably coins, if you don't have coins, you can use you know bills um, or whatever it is that they would you know, use in your country. Again, like I said. Um, so again, make up any excuse of why you would need a quarter. It's very simple. Um, you know, I, 
you can make up tons of stories. It's not that difficult, you guys. Don't overthink it. It's as simplistic as, hey, can I have a quarter? Or I need a quarter, uh, you know, to, I don't know, you know, if you're here in, in California, uh, basically to pay for a, you know, parking spot, make up any freaking excuse to get the coin, make sure you get it. And they must be willing to give it to you. So when I say they must be willing, they must give it to you. Um, it has to come out of them. They are physically, spiritually, and mentally. That's where the energy is connected to the coin when they are gifting it to you, giving it to you. Regardless if you ask for it, um, the whole taking and giving is very powerful in spell work, obviously. So them giving it to you, that's the coin you're going to be using. Um, you're going to also be needing some uh, a tool that so you can hold the coin because we're going to be putting heat in the coin um, with the lighter to ignite it and empower. Um, okay, so like I said, this is all you really need. You just need a jar, three prunes, a coin, um, something to hold a coin when you're burning it, and the Jezebel root, or if you're a male, you're going to be using John the Conquer uh, root. Now, to empower this spell these are extra ingredients that you can use that are going to be like i said to empower the spell to make it stronger um <clears throat> oh sorry and i forgot to say honey I'm not sure if i mentioned you're going to need honey now the ingredients that are going to be used that are extra to strengthen the potency of the spell um is going to be the um cordero uh spray this is a spray that we have uh we make and we have in our on our online store you can find it anywhere else as well any type of botanical shop that is of or that carries latin um latin uh ingredients you should have no problem it's called cordero or uh sheep perfume i believe it's called you're also going to be needing um, a few drops of Siete Machos. Uh, you guys know that I use this a lot in the practice. If you've never worked with this, this is a cologne that is used for many, many spells, not only for protection, not only for money, not only for power, but obviously for domination as well. So we're going to be using a few drops of that. And you're also going to be needing um, some Miel de Amor, uh, which is love honey. Uh, this is something that we use in the practice a lot for spell work, for love spell work. Um, and what we're doing is, again, this is to empower it, uh, to make them want to give to you more than they do. And if they don't, they'll start giving you and be loose with their wallet, be very forthcoming, very uh, wanting to take care of you, wanting to make things, <laughs> things or life easier for you. Um, and I'm using the uh, Miel de Amor, uh, which is the love honey um, uh, concoction we're going to be using that because like i said this is a two-step spell that i'm going to be using for a client um this is the first spell and on top of that we're going to add on a second one which i will be showing you guys the process of that on the next video all right so let's get to it so what you're going to do here is you're going to get the three prunes dried prunes As you can see here, you're going to hold them in your hand, really put your energy in it, um, put loving energy, put, you know, energy of being thankful, really tap into the feeling of how you're going to be surprised or how excited you're going to be that your partner is being more loving, more nurturing in the sense of being very excited about wanting to help you money wise. Um, really put that intensity, that energy towards it. Once you're done with that, what you're going to do is you have the option of using any type of incense in this situation. I'm using dragon's blood incense. I've been um, burning it for a bit. I'm just going to add it here or put it in here in the jar and I'm going to go in a clockwise position. And we use this to cleanse, but also to empower and enhance the jar to activate it so that we can proceed with the work that is about to begin. I've already um, 
ritualize the jar, but just for to show you guys. All right, so you're going to drop in the three prunes. Prunes are used for many different rituals. Uh, for this uh, situation, basically what we're doing is that of them wanting. Um, it's not a, it, it is a dominating type of spell, but it also, that's why we're using the honeys and we're using a few of the love oils um, to empower and enhance, uh, making them want to assist you, want to help you, not in the energy of being forced to do so, but more the feeling of wanting to provide for you. And that's exactly what we want for my clients. So that's exactly what we're using. Okay, so you're going to use, you're going to put the three prunes, as you guys can see here. Once that is done, we're going to get the root, whatever root you're using, John the Conqueror or the Jezebel root. Okay. Put this in your dominating hand. Whatever your dominating hand is, if you're left-handed, you're going to put it in your left. If you're right-handed, you're going to put it in your right. Um, and you're going to say out loud, I now receive all that my heart desires. With love and trust, I thank the spirits and I thank Jezebel. Put the intention and drop it in there. All right? Now what we're going to do here is we're going to get the coin and we're going to burn the coin with a lighter. Yes, a lighter. We are activating. Um, this is why it's important to, if possible, to use a coin because the coins have symbols. Uh, and the symbols are, you know, very powerful in spell work. But it is also the activation of the coin as an amulet to be able to draw in their money because they're the ones that are giving you the coin or the bill, whatever it is that you're using. Now, if you are using the bill, you're going to skip the burning process. Um, you're going to hold it in your power hand, meaning if you're right handed or left handed, you're going to hold it on to, uh, to that hand, whether it's your right or left hand. And you're going to put the intention of, again, visualizing the excitement or the surprise that is good that you're going to feel when they start giving you money when they start willingly to give you money um now for those of you guys that are using a coin we're going to light the coin and we're going to burn it like i said the burning process is the activation of the coin itself to be used as an amulet all right once that's done we're going to drop it in the jar. Now this is where we're going to put a few of the drops of the Siete Machos cologne. And we're also going to be adding some of the Love Honey. And like I said, you guys can get these ingredients in any Latin botanical shop. Um, depending on what part of the world you're in, or you guys can go to my online store and you can find those ingredients on there. Okay, so we're going to add some of the Love Honey. You don't need very much of it. And I'm going to infuse it with some of the Cordero And the Cordero uh, spray is used for, it's like a mansawapo. It's to dominate, uh, to make them more submissive. Um, so it's going to look like this. All right. So once we're done with that, now what we're going to do is we're going to add the honey. Now with the honey, you guys, be bountiful with this. It is very important. Okay, so once we're done with that, it's going to look like this. All right, 
Let me add a little bit more of the Cordero spray really quick. All right, and that is it, my lovely. So once that is done, what you're going, it's gonna look like this, and what you're going to do is you're going to activate it, putting both your hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate this jar so that it may um, empower the spell that we have just concluded. May the prunes sweeten and make him submissive or make her submissive to my needs and desires. May the coin be the representation of the abundance and the willingness to give to me and to give on to me. You're going to put your energy on here. All right, and that is it. You're going to cover this. Now, you can put this jar in a bigger socket bag. You can put it with uh, some, or cover it with some satin, um, preferably green or gold. Um, or you can just put it underneath your bed. You can put it in your closet, anywhere where it's dark. Now, for three consecutive days, you're going to go to the jar and you're going to shake it. All right. And when you shake it, you're going to say so and so, whatever their name is, is uh, loving is giving and is pleasing me. All right. You're going to do this for three days. After three days, you're going to put it away and do not disturb it. Every time you need a favor, money, whatever it is that you need, you're going to go to the jar and you're going to shake it up. When you shake it up, you're going to ask specifically for what you're wanting them to give to you. As an example, I have a bill that I need to take care of. Um, make so and so be willing and loving towards me and want to cover that expense, uh, whatever the situation is. Okay. And you're going to do this every single time you need a favor or you need them to do something for you, you're going to go to the jar and you're going to shake it. If you start to notice that it starts to dry up or that the ingredients are not as liquefied as they are right now, what you're going to do is you can always empower this jar every full moon. So whenever you feel like it's drying up or the ingredients are getting a bit dry, you can put it out in the full moon recharge it and add in more honey of course do you have the option of filling it all the way halfway yes you do i'm only doing this uh this much because we're not done with this spell i'm going to let it sit for a couple of days and we're going to do part two the step two uh for that specific spell so again like i said you can fill it up halfway with honey and again like i said every time you need a favor or you need um, their graces basically you're going to go to it and you're going to shake it um, you can stay with this jar um, as long as you're dealing with them so what I mean by that is uh, as long as you're being with them dating them having contact with them whatever the situation is you can continue petitioning and asking um, and again like I said if you want to empower it or if you feel like they start to become more rigid with their money again you can always set it out by the full moon let the full moon rays charge it make sure to bring it in before the sun is up uh, add some honey and lock it up again um, every single time that you do empower it it just becomes much more stronger um, and again like i said you can put it away in a dark place it is very important and crucial you guys for them not to see this they can never lay I, uh, lay hands hands sorry lay eyes on this jar this container because the moment their eyes come in contact with this the spell is broken so it's very crucial and important to keep it in a very secretive place or a place where you know they're not going to be going into that they're not going to be able to see do this and you're going to be amazed at the results you guys i wish you guys the very best i hope you guys enjoy like share and comment and we'll see each other soon Till then, bye.